वेलकम टू माई चैनल पीडारी क्लासेस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन शॉर्ट अबाउट द डिफरेंट वैक्सीन विच कैन बी केप फॉर द प्रैक्टिकल एग्जामिनेशन अ डिटेल वीडियो रिगार्डिंग द इंडिविजुअल वैक्सीन एंड द थिंग्स हैव बीन डिस्कस इन पार्ट वन पार्ट टू पार्ट थ्री एंड दिस इज ए वेरी दिस इज ए वेरी शॉर्ट रेडी रिकनर this has to be go like the purpose is like the just before the exam the day before the exam you can just go through it and just get the salient points which will be asked for the examination so first one thing you have to know is you revise the national immunization schedule and also the iap immunization schedule accordingly they will ask you questions so one the first vaccine which are given at birth are bcg hepatitis b and opv so Uh, please note what is this this is a bcg vaccine amber colored bottle it is a route of administration is intradermal into the left deltoid area this is given at birth okay so this is a, a uh, this uh, what is the live attenuated type of vaccine so that is done now next is the opv i'll just show you the opv so this is the opv okay so this is a again a live vaccine it is given orally two drops we give at birth then 6 weeks 10 weeks and 14 weeks and the booster at 1 and 1/2 years of age this is also given during the national immunization uh, days then we have hepatitis b that is a recombinant vaccine that is given intramuscular it is given 0.5 ml into the anterolateral thigh next we have at the 6 weeks when the child is coming to you uh, this is the vaccine you give this is a pendavac vaccine so pendavac has as you can see from here it has diphtheria pertussis then hepatitis b h influenza b tetanus etc so all the dpt so diphtheria pertussis tetanus hepatitis b and h influenza b this is given 0.5 ml intramuscular into the anterolateral thigh and there is the ip recommends an ip or that means ipv uh, also so this is infantrix hexa that's just a brand name. you do not have to know you just have to know that it has all the components of pendavanan plus ipv if some examiner ask you what is there in a pendavanan and what is there in a hexavanan you should be able to say that in a hexavanan all the doses of pendavanan plus injectable polio that is ipv is also there so ipv different ipv is a killed vaccine okay please note opv is a live vaccine whereas ipv is a killed vaccine so this is given 0.5 ml this is given 0.5 ml intramuscular into the anterolateral thigh so but this is a uh, another vaccine ec6 the difference between ec6 and other one is here we have used whole cell uh, pertussis whereas the other one which i showed you previously they were using a a cellular pertussis actually you can see from here pertussis component is a cellular okay is the pertussis okay so next we are we need to what next thing which is there in the uh, national immunization schedule uh, is actually a rota virus vaccine rota virus always ask what is the dose what is the route what is the dose all those things please remember rotarix means it is two doses we need to give oral the route of administration is oral don't forget that because it is very frequently asked in the examination is the oral route and rotarix is given two doses okay i is rotaris two doses you can remember this one ml dose rix r i x so one i like thing is there so as i remember rotaris is one ml whereas we have so many other brands like um, see this one this is rotasil this is given as a dose of 2.5 ml we have another one this is three dose schedule another one is there rota tech that is also three doses uh, then uh, so if you are giving a three dose schedule it will give 6 10 and 14 then if you are giving two dose probably 10 and 14 doses can be given the main thing you should remember is these are all live attenuated vaccines these are given orally so at 6 10 and 14 we need to give a pneumococcal vaccine this is given again 0.5 ml intramuscular this is a pneumococcal polysaccharide conjugate vaccine so another pneumococcal polysaccharide conjugate vaccine is synflorix it is a 10 valent vaccine as you can see from here this is a 13 valent vaccine whereas this is a This is a 10 valent and flow is a 10 valent vaccine. Okay, please note the new in the recent immunization schedule uh, we have, they have come discuss about another vaccine also that is a pneumocil that is a third approved vaccine after Pravna 13 and Synflorix. Okay, schedule uh, should be clear. It is six, 
10 and 14 according to the IAP definition it is 6, 10 and 14 and a booster at around 15 to 18 months of age whereas according to the national immunization schedule it is given at 6 weeks 14 weeks and a booster at 9 months of age now at na completed 9 months we need to give this measles, mumps and rubella vaccine what is the type of vaccine? it is live attenuated vaccine root of administration subcutaneous what is the dosage you give? 0.5 ml so this will protect against measles, mumps and rubella. Please note this is also in a uh, amber colored bottle. Okay. At one year of age we give this hepatitis A vaccine. Please note it is again a live attenuated vaccine. Uh, hepatitis A if you are giving a live attenuated vaccine it requires only one dosage. If you are giving an inactivated vaccine for hepatitis A like Havris we require two doses at one year of age and at one and a half years of age. This is given 0.5 ml subcutaneous. So this is a live vaccine. So it is given only one dose. If it is an activated vaccine, we need to give two doses. A live vaccine is given in the dosage of 0.5 ml subcutaneous where that requires only one dosages. But whereas the vaccine of uh, hepatitis A, like Havrix, we give two doses, one uh, dose followed by another dose after 6 months that is given intramuscularly. Now, so uh, if you see the things to notice, almost live attenuated vaccines like for example MMR, varicella, so all these things are given subcutaneously. Certain oral live vaccines are there like for example for oral polio vaccine or rotaviral vaccine, these are all uh, root of administration is oral, please don't forget that. Then killed vaccine, the root of administration most early are intramuscular into the androlateral. Uh, thigh. Then injectable polio, please note there is something called fractional IPV. Fractional IPV 2 dose schedule 0.1 ml intradermally at 6 weeks and 14 weeks. Well, I hope this will be uh, helpful for you before your exams. If, if you like the video, please don't forget to like, comment and share. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe too. Thank you and stay safe.